Hello and welcome back. This is Higgin and these are one square meter micro exercises. Things that you can do at your own place if you perhaps are during quarantine or lockdown and you don't know what to do with yourself. Now for what we're going to do today is a little bit more advanced. Do it if you can already be upside down. Do it if your wrists are warm, if your shoulders are warm. If you want to warm up your shoulder or wrist, please go back to my other episodes. This, what we are going to do today, is a little bit more challenging, so I don't want any injuries. Today we're going to do a few exercises on the wall. These are going to be simple handstands or transitions to them and through doing these this movements you will get more comfortable being upside down. So all in all, super beneficial. So let's do it. The pro tip is if your feet are dirty, your wall is also going to be dirty. Just that you know, I warn you. So I would like to concentrate on having the ass touching the wall. So let's have the first one where you just go to the wall. Whee! And we're going to go feet on the wall, everything straight, and then ass on the wall. Only ass. So legs are free. Feet on the wall, ass on the wall. Just like that. Very simple. And now what we're going to do, we're going to go ass on the wall and open the legs. Now, the legs are not touching the wall, it's just the ass. So you close and you open. Now you can see the difference, if you put the legs on the wall, it's very different. If you put the ass on the wall, it's very different. And I'm interested in having this mobility of the ass on the wall. So, ass on the wall, up, and to the side. And let's go down. So that's the number one. We spiral in this level of difficulty. So the second one already requires a little bit more mobility in the shoulders. We're gonna have us on the wall, feet wide and just going down from one side to the other side. So the, the feet, they're really, like the, the legs are really locked. They're in position and they're not moving you're just moving the pelvis. So you can go with the arms a little bit wider here for more mobility. And we're gonna go down. Now I'm not asking you to go as far down as I did, but just a little bit is already a really cool exercise and every time you go a little bit more, a little bit more, a little bit more, a little bit more, and so on. Well I have two more. Number three is going to be opening the chest, so you go pelvis on the wall and then you're gonna go chest forward and looking through the arms. So you're opening here and you're opening your chest like that. But you do it upside down and you do it by the wall. So let's do it. So you see this position? Now you can have your feet on the wall actually as well. So you're gonna go 
chest forward and looking through. Chest forward and looking through. Looking to the ceiling. Just like that, opening the arms in this position. Now this one is extremely challenging because it requires both shoulder mobility and the strength. But then you can do nice fun tricks after. The last exercise is a combination of this and a twist. So let's check it out. So from here, you're gonna go like this and you're gonna go twist up. So you rotate yourself and you look with the leg the other way. Just like that. And then the moment you understand, you try to take the other leg. but this gives you a little bit of inspiration again you have your shoulder have to be warm your wrist have to be warm and yeah if you're at the level that you feel confident by standing on the wall check these exercises don't push yourself too hard this is really important go gradually go step by step and yeah and then you'll be fine if you suddenly start pushing like crazy and you're gonna injure yourself. If you need more knowledge about being upside down, go to my webinar. I'm gonna publish online classes soon. So you can also go through all the webinars that already happened and in a more compressed form. And like this you will get used to being upside down and like this you will probably be able to do some of these things. And if you're already at the level super high pro, this, I hope this could be at least some little inspiration for you. Have a wonderful day. That was Higgin. There were micro exercises and see you soon.